What's up Transformers fans? This is Dan Steers and in today's video, now I just found this a couple of minutes ago um, on on my um, iPad and I spotted that there is there is a Super Bowl TV spot uh, only a 32 second trailer for the Transformers The Last Night. Now that's pretty early really because I thought they were going to show it like when Super Bowl was on but nah. Looks like they've got this out early, so as usual in this video, I'm going to play it out. You're going to see my reaction when I think of it, and then we'll break it down like what could be going on in these scenes. So, I've got my volume up. Um, I've checked the volumes up, and, uh, I checked and nothing's going to go wrong, so yeah, let's have a look at it. You want to oh. know, Grimlock! Your world is dying. Do you seek redemption? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now that's a Super Bowl. Now that, that is pretty cool. Okay, that's okay. That's a that looks pretty cool actually. Not really much to give us a what's going on, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. So let's have a look at what's going on then. So we first jump in with two helicopters, and they're flying towards this strange um, Cybertronian look. Now, when you look at it. It's got, it's like a triangle shaped thing, what we saw in the first trailer. And if you remember, I did say, it's that lockdown ship. And to me now, looking at it, it looks like, it looks like it is, side, you know, it's lockdown ship. You know, the Dinobots, um, um, Knights Templar ship, how they call it. So, yeah, it looks like that could be the ship. Now, wondering how it got there, if that is the ship. Uh, I know I've already said it, but I'll say it, but I'll say it here. But I think the Autobots get their hands of it after Optimus leaves, and because I know them, Cade and the Autobots are in hiding. So when they must have got the ship, they must have thought, "Look, let's go into hiding. We'll take the ship with us." So that looks pretty cool. Uh, moving on. Now we finally get our first glimpse of Anti Hawkins as his um. Uh, Moot as his character. Now, I'm not, I can't recall what his character is called, but I know they have said what his character is called. But we get to see our first glimpse of him. So that's pretty cool. And from the where he is, I'd say he's at the bit where the, um, you know, where the, oh, at the, um, oh, where was it? It was at the, um, the, um, I, well, it was uh, when they were filming in the UK, they were filming at Stone Edge. That's it. I believe that's how you call it, Stone Edge. Yeah, so looks like they're showing us off when he's at Stone Edge. And I don't know what he's looking at, but it could be, you know, an Autobot versus Decenticon battle, but I can't say. Then we get a glimpse of those um, Wobbercop robots. And it looks like they're looking for Bumblebee, because I know this could be, because I'm saying this, at this Wobbercop robot one. This could be the one that gets destroyed by Bumblebee. And and he's by a poster with Optimus on it. And it says evil. Well, enemy or... or I think... Well, I think... Yeah, enemy it says. Um, sorry if I don't say that right. Uh, that's interesting that they've still got that... They're keeping those posters on. Now, we see K Jaeger. And he's holding one of these guns. Looks like he's created. So, I don't know who he's aiming at. But it could be at... Uh, our new soldier character, who's involved, you know, who's, I think they said he was the leader of the, um, the TRF, or he could be Amy out of the Decepticon, but that looks interesting. And we get a glimpse of our big planet that's coming to Earth. Now, I still believe it's Cybertron, but who knows? It may not be. Now, what I'm looking here is, it's like parts of that, of Cybertron. Is dragging on the planet Earth. Now I don't know if he's dragging on planet Earth or dragging um, 
you know, the clouds, the clouds of planet Earth. But from that, I'm thinking, is that how they, how Cybertron is going to get his um, land on on the on his pla on the planet again? But that looks curious. But maybe that's how he does it. But I can't really say. Yes, we get a big explosive, and we see vehicles coming forward, and we see Grimlock. And I did say this in my head, if the soup with the Super Bowl, I said, I hope we see Dinobots. And yet, we see Grimlock. Now, I am wondering what part of a world Grimlock's got in it. Because I've heard he's got to have a bigger world in it. Now, I don't know if he's the on if he's just the only Dinobot who's got a big world, or does the other Dinobots have big worlds. But, yeah, this looks interesting. And we see in Grimlock going, um, turning, you know, walling round. So, looks like he's, t he's been taken hit. He's been hit, so... Maybe that's what's the cause of it, but I can't say. Then we see our character, Kay Yeager and Laura Haddock. Well, I'm not I know they've said her character name, but I can't recall. But we see those two. And looks like they're running away or they're running to something. Because in the background, you can see parts of Cybertron um, trying to grab some, as I said on the other bit, trying to grab some land so he can create land of his own again. And we see helicopters going by, going past through them. And we see one actually landing. And I think, and look from it, yeah, I think it's actually landing on a Cybertron piece. So now we know that the last battle is going to take place on, you know, well, from the looks of it, it's going to take place on, um, on Cybertron, a bit on Cybertron, but I can't really say. And, uh, oh. I mistake that. It looks it's not landing, it actually crashes. Sorry, I missaid that. Um, now I'm gonna play a little bit here because I heard I hear a woman talking. I'm gonna try to hear what she says. Your world is dying. Oh, your world is dying. Do you seek redemption? Uh new secret redemption. Hmm. Now I don't know what that she's on about, but that sounds interesting. Then we get a couple of scenes of Bunch of people flying up in the air, so I'd say there's a Decepticon attack. We get to see our young actress. Uh, it's just a scene we've seen before when she's looking at that odd or new Autobot. And we see two submarines, that's what we saw in the last trailer, but with a little more, more, more added scene to it. And then we see something coming out of the water. That's what we saw in the one poster. Poster. Where the Optimus and the on top of it says rethink your heroes. So that's interesting. I am wondering what that is. Now I'm gonna play this here again because I hear Optimus talk and I couldn't understand what he said, so let's hear it out again. My maker. Hang on, did he say my doom? Hang on, sorry there, I'm trying to hear if he says my doom. Oh, I do. It sounds like he's saying, I do. But, yeah, we're seeing Optimus's face saying that it's I. It's red. I mean, it's blue first. You see these eyes are blue, and he's got the red on the side. And then you're seeing the eyes change colour. One minute you can see his flash up as red, and it looks like it's turned purple. And as we see Kay Yeager using the, using the um, sword, Arthur's sword, and it looks like he's eight. He's swinging it at someone, but I don't know who. And we see Laura, Laura Hallock, and she's screaming at something. And Ness, oh, we see Optimus versus Bumblebee. Now we see Optimus grabbing him and doing like that. Kind of like what he did in the first trailer, but doing it more different. But then we see Bumblebee fighting him, and he's got a weapon. Bumblebee has a weapon, and he hits Optimus in the face. Now, from the looks of the weapon, it looks like it's a, an axe he's got in his hand. But from the looks of it, he hits him in the face. And four, Optimus just took a hit there. It looks like he drops his shield down. Oh no, wait a minute, actually. Oh, actually, Bumblebee is carrying, uh, yeah, it's a hammer. It's like a, a bit, it's a hammer. So, whoa, that will look interesting. Now, I don't know where that weapon's come from, but... I don't know if that's a weapon he already has and he's created for himself or he's found it like 
I don't know, maybe like on Lockdown Ship, if Lockdown Ship is in the film. And then next, we see Optimus, he looks like he's kneeled down, and then we see Bumblebee, and behind him, we see Bumblebee jumping up and preparing to hit him like this. And then Optimus grabs Bumblebee. So, yeah, that looks interesting. And then we just cut into the Transformers The Last Night logo. And just says it's out in June. So, oh, and it also says here, see the extended spot this Sunday. Ah, so, that's just what I thought. Oh, so, it's what I thought as well. I said to myself, is this like a sneak preview to the um, Super Bowl thing? Now, that's got me, so it looks like this is just a sneak preview in the way you can think. Just a sneak preview to the actual Super Bowl. So we could be getting more scenes, more scenes at the actual Super Bowl TV spot. So I will be doing a reaction video to that. And uh, that's it, really, guys. So sorry, I had to replay some of the bits again because um, I was trying to, because I couldn't really hear what they were saying. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you like this reaction video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave a link to the actual, you know, TV spot so you can have a look at it. Um, also, as normal, if you ever see one, if, I, if you ever want to see some photos I post on me Transformers Facebook, that's down in the description below. Um, after you see the Super Super Bowl trailer, sorry, this, well, I call it maybe I'll call it a early Super Bowl trailer, or actually a sneak peek one. Please put your comments down below after watching it. Give your theories of. What you saw in there and give your theories on what you think is going on there. Um, also, share this out to your friends, you know, so I can get more viewers and subscribers. And if you're new to this channel, I do like Transformers and Marvel news videos. Um, and I also do this for both of them. Now, I do that for trailers and TV spots. When it comes to, like, nearly close to the film and they release some TV spots that have spoilers to, to the Marvel or Transformers film... I don't do those because I don't want to spoil myself. So, yeah, that's what I do. And that's it really, guys. So, as I said, sorry if I had to replay some of the stuff. It's just, as I said, because I couldn't hear it properly. But, but as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. So, I, I hope you... Sorry, I keep saying that word. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching. And see you, like, on Monday, I'd say. For this Super Bowl, but it well, you know what I mean. So see you on Monday for the t for the extra Super Bowl um, TV spot. Peace.